Greetings friends, Steven here, and welcome to part two of the Gamer Hall special. Uh, that was the May 17th Ultimate Hobby and Toy Fair. Uh, part one, we saw my little intro outside, and then we checked out uh, the toy show floor. Talked to some people, look at some things, uh, pretty good time. And now it's time to see exactly what I picked up. And we're going to start this one off with a big one is optimal optimus this is from the beast wars transformers cartoon and uh, it's a stick price 15 bucks but uh it was actually a bit less than that now as you can see i'm in a different uh location as usual uh this is actually my bed because we got four freaking bags to look through and uh uh, be forewarned, uh, I am still dealing with allergies, so I might have random edits as I need to sneeze or whatever. But yeah, uh, pretty hefty toy. Um, yeah, I, can't, I think I'd pay like 12 bucks or something for this, and that was probably the best price I saw for him. I saw more of these than I would have expected, though, because I mean, you'd think he'd be like really expensive when he was new, and uh, I'm surprised that uh, I saw so many of them. Seems like one of those things that you wouldn't see as many of. But yeah, pretty cool start to our uh, little haul here. Uh, I'm just gonna go bag by bag. And, whoa. So, but, what else did we get from there? Uh, right next to that guy, there's uh, a few more Beast Wars toys. This is the uh, Transmetal Cheetor. Now, I've actually got one of these already, but the one I have is missing the tail and one of his arms. So this one, by comparison, is, as far as I can tell, complete. And, of course, they are in the same line. You can tell because they've got the, uh, it's all, like, shiny. It's not, like, chrome or die cast or anything, but it's just, like, a shiny paint. And it looks really neat. Uh, and they're cheap. Like, these, uh, I think I got this one and the next one for maybe, like, 12 bucks or something like this. Which is not too bad. One. It's funny, I've got the, the backpack here, but I really didn't put much stuff into it. So we got a rat trap, also now in transmetal form. Now this one, I actually saw uh, the other people sign them in better shape, because as you can see, this one has the flaking of the paint, which is unfortunate, but this was like, these two uh, stalls were the very first ones I went to, and I wasn't sure exactly what the selection would be like. But I mean, otherwise, as far as I can tell, I think he's all there. He's got uh, his crazy ass tail here, which is pretty neat. And yeah, of course, these guys will transform into sort of vehicle mode, but uh, also animals, and of course, the robot. So that's those three. And that's actually all I put in the backpack. My backpack is actually, uh, it's been. It's seen better days, so uh, a lot of the zippers are kind of iffy, so I didn't want to didn't want to stress it out too much. Okay, hold on, nose break. Be right back. Okay, I'm back. Oh man, these allergies. Uh, it is not easy to try and go through like a a toy show, which is plenty dusty already, and have to deal with allergies at the same time. Ugh. Anyways, I uh, just rearranged things a bit. I've moved those guys back, and I've got my little uh, toy show pamphlet thing here. Uh, Sunday, May 1st. Next one is in October, October the 2nd, so that should be a fun time. Uh, the last few times I went to these things, I really wasn't in the market for toys. As you guys know, I was mostly just looking for retro gaming stuff, but uh, the selection there for that stuff, like, as you guys know, the prices are just going out of control for retro gaming stuff. Uh, but a lot of these loose figures are uh, really well priced. Drinking water and talking into the uh, into the bottle. Okay. Now these aren't in any specific order; it's just whatever I pull out of the bag next. This I was uh, quite happy to find. Uh, I believe one of the earlier videos I did was on one of these things. That is a totally hilarious, incredibly neat game of skill. This is Gorilla, the things. Now, this one's actually missing the barrels, I, I was told. But, uh, like, this was five bucks, and I'll definitely buy any, uh, any things I can find. We can, uh, take a quick look here. But yeah, this, man, this toy show, oh, I, I spent, hmm, hundreds of dollars. I'm glad it happened right after payday, that's all I'll say about that. So 
for this? Yeah, something like that. Um, if you guys want me to do any more in-depth videos on a lot of this stuff, just let me know in the comments. Uh, this, I mean, it is what it is. Uh -oh. <laughs> no. Okay, well, we'll leave this <laughs> over there. If anything, it's a good backdrop piece. Yeah. Okay. Ooh, okay. Uh, mm, okay, this will be good. Uh, <laughs> GoBots books. GoBots on Earth. Uh, I got both of these for three bucks. It's just little cute, stupid GoBot books. And more of the GoBots. Of course, if you've seen some of the videos I've released before this one, you'll know that I've been uh, going... Uh, Looking for more GoBot stuff and it's super cheap, so yeah, why not? Okay, this next one is a big one. Arguably one of the pricier things I bought. Uh, I, damn it, I can't remember what his name is. Uh, this is, uh, what is it, the Protector Bots? Uh, that's a G1. This is their combiner form. Uh, last time I shot one of these uh, toy show videos, one of the last things I showed off was one of these, which is a 300ZX Autobot. Uh, toy and uh, the actually one, one of the cars I used to own so now that I'm into the toys I was like oh I gotta find the 300ZX and when you, when you know what I did find one but he was attached to a whole another set of robots so uh, this uh, I can't remember how much I spent on this one it was well it was part of a bundle uh, he's more or less complete he's got a gun and stuff that's in there uh, yeah, let's see you got uh, Ambulance, 300 ZX, motorbike, which is grossly uh, missized. I guess this would be hot spot, like in the combined wars that are currently in stores, you can get the, the new version of this guy. And get a little helicopter dude, pretty neat. I want to say that was like 75 bucks or something like that. I think, I think it was either 60 or 70. Now, along with that, as you probably saw in the video I released for part one, uh, the guy had uh, four Game and & Watches, and uh, this one I thought was the most interesting of the four, uh, Bomb Sweeper, Game & Watch Nintendo. Looks, uh, interesting. There's like, looks like a sewer system at the top, and at the bottom is like a cage or something. And you'll notice that there's actually no button on the right, it's just, I guess, D-pad. Pretty neat. He was selling these for a hundred each, but uh, because I bought this thing as well, it was like 75 for this. Normally, as you guys know, it's more than I want to spend, but you don't see Game & Watches very often. I would have loved to have honestly bought all four of them, but uh, yeah, what can you do? I only had so much, uh, so much money on hand. So yeah, I just picked the one I thought was the most interesting. Like, arguably the Donkey Kong one might have been worth the most, but, you know, they're all pretty pretty cool. Uh, if I had only gone looking for retro gaming stuff, I might have ended up with just all four of those and uh, none of the rest of this stuff. Which uh, would be good for my apartment, because I am my, I have no room. It's I, I'm trying to downsize. I'm trying so hard, guys. Anyways, uh, what else? There's a bunch of random figures in here. Okay, yeah. Yep, this is good. So along with those two, he actually threw in uh, just a box of like Minicon stuff. So this was basically a, uh, a throw in with these two. So you can see. Oh baby, making it rain. It's just a ton of, uh, whatever those things are. I think those are Minicons. They, you can see for an example, they're just, they're tiny. The smallest kinds of Autobots. If there's like one or two movements you make, and then he's transformed. So yeah, I don't even know how to do that one. But yep, pretty sweet. Can't go wrong with a whole box of those things. There you go. Oh, it's got a little rope on it. That's kind of cool. 
So these I'll have to look through in more detail later. It's pretty neat. As I'm scraping up my uh, game to watch. Tiny little truck. Uh, yeah, pretty neat. I'm gonna put all these back in white my nose. I'll be right back in a second. <laughs> Okay, we're back once again. Oh my god. Uh, so, next up, uh, these actually picked up pretty much right before the end, but uh, just like a buck each. Actually, got both of them. It's like a buck fifty or something. <laughs> Always gotta get those deals. You know what I'm talking about. Uh, just quick little, uh, like these would come with uh, proper G1 bots and boxes. Just these little poster things are pretty neat. And these are the the money shots we get to see all the uh, G1 guys in their prime. Good stuff. Damn, I believe this one was more or less the same. There's a slight difference. Is uh, I'll get a close look later, but I don't want to take too long with any any one thing here because like I said, like there's still three packs to go through. There's another one. So generally the same thing. Like, it knows there's like, there's like an extra bit of text, text on uh, the other one compared to this. Alright. Alright, so what's next? Let's see. Oh, someone lost a, little, a tail or something. <clears throat> okay, so we got a baggie. Uh, these are more, more bits and pieces for the protector bot. So we're here. Uh, I'm just gonna bring this over here. It does me no good on that side because also I'm standing on the left side of the camera uh, Okay, so once again checking out more Beast Wars lines. These are just assorted random guys. I think these are like five bucks each Got a little frog dude there Looks like a trans metal because they, they've got the assorted like bright metal paint Frog dude pretty cool Don't know the name it wasn't in the show uh, once again, five bucks random dude. Gets his, that must be his tail. Goes. Yeah, that looks about right. Just click that. Yeah. 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 Whatever. Cute bonus thing. A lot of these were like, they'd be like eight bucks or six bucks, but if you buy more, of course, then they become like five bucks. And uh, this, I don't even know what this is. Once again, bundle purchase. Random bird, toucan, Sam, creature. I'll, I'll look these up in greater detail later. And finally, uh, pretty pretty long praying mantis. Also, I'm guessing that's what. Uh, it's gonna say an insecticon. I guess that's not what they were by this point. Maybe it was. I don't know. Yeah, pretty uh, pretty elaborate creature nonetheless. From the Beast Wars, obviously toys only, not part of the. Uh, cartoon because I certainly don't remember seeing the giant mantis dude but it looks pretty cool uh, that's it for this bag except for what is that uh, I think once again another protector bot gun maybe more well we'll look into this stuff in greater detail later and by we I mean me oh, okay um this one was pretty neat. I was eyeing this one throughout the, the day, and I knew I wouldn't be able to go home without it. Gakken presents the Henshin Robo. Not recommended for children under three. Contains small parts. You guys familiar with this one? M, are you watching? What is this thing? You guys you guys know this? Diecast model. It looks pretty hardcore. 50 bucks. They took five bucks off. They weren't willing to move too far on the price on this one, but... Uh, I mean, as far as I can tell, like, it's got all the styrofoam in there. It doesn't look like much of a transformation it goes from that to, I guess, this. Looks like the cross. But I'm digging these robot designs. Very cool. Yeah, I like that one. Alright, what else we got in here? We got, uh, the next show. Yeah, October 2nd. That'll be good. Uh, I wasn't expecting to be spending nearly as much as I did, so, uh... This uh, this will be a good indication of how much money I should save in the next one. 
And we got one more Beast Wars creature. This one's a bit more familiar. This is Quick Strike. He was definitely in the show. Apparently he's uh, one of the trickier ones to find. He's like part scorpion, part cobra. Pretty, uh, pretty nasty customer right there. He just looks like he's part way, uh, like he's mid-transformation. So we'll, we'll put him back together, figure all that out later. Uh, got this one for five bucks. That is a G2 uh, Combaticon. Neat thing is, I actually have the gun for this. So I'm glad I was able to find the bot that goes with the gun. I've had the gun for a while now. And yeah, cool. Okay, what else we got in here? Baggy, baggy, baggy. Oh, okay. Got a quick G1 Sea Spray. I've got the G2 already, but uh, now I have G1 as well. Well, five dollar sticker. Okay, here's a big one. Uh, I'm pretty sure this is G1. That's what is it, Sound Blaster? No. Uh, damn, I can't remember. Uh, but yeah, the uh, Autobot version of Soundwave. Big. Like I saw some uh, Sound Waves as well, and they weren't as big as this guy. So I don't know what the uh, the difference is. Maybe there's different sizes of Sound Waves as well. Uh, pretty neat. I'm pretty sure he has a gun, but I don't have that with this specific toy. Uh, I saw a few of these though, more than I was expecting to see. Just must have been a popular toy at, uh, back in the day around here. Uh, what else we got in the bag? Okay, <laughs> we've got a GoBots uh, handgun, which is neat because I actually have the, the bigger shotgun guy that goes with this. We might take a look at those uh, later on. We got a mini go by that's a little choo choo train guy. Pretty cool. I think I got all those for like five bucks each on the same table. Uh, oh. Okay, also from that same table, though, I believe that's G1 Warpath Autobot Takara 1984. Pretty good shape. So yeah, it's like if you look at this, look for this stuff online, like on eBay or something. The prices are just out of control, but these prices, uh, a bit more reasonable. I'm quite, uh, quite happy with the uh, the doodads I've found so far. Except that I'm obviously like just weird, random, sure whatever kind of purchases, but you know, it's all fun at games. Uh, what have we got? Get another random uh, Happy Stores dude. Uh, I don't even know if he was in the show. I don't think so. Some of these guys are really small, but they're neat. I like them. I hope I like them because I bought a whole bunch of them. Down there. Uh, here's, um, here's something uh, a bit fancier. We've got a G1 Astro Train, which is... Uh, I was quite happy to find this because I've been wanting to get a G1 Astro Train for a while. This is him in, obviously, uh, like, space shuttle mode. That wasn't too much at all. I think, I think it was maybe around 20. His gun is in here somewhere too. Oh. Anyways. Uh, we have a cassette. Uh, is this a legit G1? I'm not sure. You guys let me know. I don't think it's bootleg. It's got a good weight to it. It does have the, uh, the rub symbol or whatever you want to call those there. Pretty cool. But it's hard to tell. Like We did see some bootleg knockoff stuff. Uh, you saw these in the part one video when I was taking a look at some of the tables. We got a couple toques just because they're cool. Uh, it's a white mage, white toque, and a black mage, black toque. Just throw those over there. I think those were like 10 bucks each or something around there. Uh, I think I showed this off in the video as well. Just another, yet another beast. Wars random ass creature. It's a funky squid dude. Cool. Uh, okay, here's a uh, Astro Train's gun. Very good. We got uh, get some paperwork. This is for that beetle guy we just saw. That was this guy. So he's got his uh, instructions to go with him. Very good. We have a uh, backboard power pinch. Is that the same guy once again? I think. Yeah. Yeah. Alright, cool. Cool, cool. 
And claw jaw, that looks like the uh, squid guy we just saw, so we'll put that up there. Yeah, that was cool. I remember that guy had a bin of uh, just like little pamphlet stuff. That's so cool that uh, he had those go with the figures themselves. So much stuff there, man. Like, like I said, when I was checking out uh, the toy show mostly for games, there was, you know, a few tables that had stuff, but when you're actually at a toy show and you're looking for, believe it or not, toys, there's quite a bit of the selection there. Like a lot of the stuff I would have seen, and well, I don't know, like it's kind of an awkward spot where it's like if you see this thing he's, you want, it's like well I should probably buy it. And then I saw I saw this guy, he was like ten bucks cheaper at another stall, but he was like more busted and you know varying varying prices and uh, states of uh, condition. These I bought for like a couple bucks each. I thought these are pretty neat. Super Mario Brothers 2, Nintendo Power. They're like little mini strategy guides. Super Power Tip Book. Part 1 and Part 2. Some vintage artwork. Cool. What the hell are you up to, Mario? This over here. Okay. Yeah. Uh, making sure to always make sure you look very closely in the bags because you never know you might have a gun or something in there. Some sort of accessory that you don't want to uh, misplace. Uh, let's move this down because uh, as you can see, I'm kind of running low on space. Okay. Uh, I think we're at the last bag now. Uh, okay, one more beast machine creature. Uh, scare him. Five bucks. It's like the last thing I bought. I was like, well, I got like five bucks left in my wallet, so I guess. Sure. Sure. We got uh, this is cool. I was glad to find this. It was a G1 scatter shot of the um, Computron combiner set. This is the main guy. I was actually looking to get one of these on eBay. He just looks really neat when he's in his plane mode. He looks looks like an old school like NES shmup plane. I don't know the whole transformation, so it won't go too into detail, but pretty neat. That there. And I guess that's it. Hmm. Uh just two toys left here. I thought there was more, but whatever. Uh got a super gobot that's what is that tracks or whatever? One of the main good guys. Pretty good. Lots of uh, die cast. I actually had one of these, but I recently traded it away because he was missing his head. But this one does have the head, so that's good. As far as I can tell, I think it's complete. There might be uh, a few odds and ends. I think he has a trailer that would, do, that would go with him, but uh, obviously that's not here. But it's pretty good. And the evil psy kill. This guy is like almost all metal. It's very impressive. Like this part's metal, this part's metal. Plastic bits on the sides. The wheels are rubber. Can't go wrong with the uh, Super GoBots. Very cool. That sticker is incorrect too because I actually got this for like 10 bucks with this and this. So that was like 30 bucks for those. And, oh, got all this. I guess that about does it. Oh, for my May Toy Show Gamer Hall. Well, maybe it should be called Toy Hall from now on, but whatever. There's a couple game things here, so like one. Those things. I guess the tukes count too. Yeah, damn. God damn. That's a lot of toys to find uh, spots for. I don't know where I'm going to put them all. But anyway, that's a problem for another time. So, everyone, thanks for watching. Uh, this latest Gamer Hall special is in my toy show spectacular. Uh, I do have it in. A more traditional gamer hall that once again has been sitting on my PC for months waiting to be uploaded So I know mr. Q dog has been looking forward to that So we'll, we'll try to get that up at some point, but this will probably be up before that because of the uh, toy show hype and Yeah, god damn look at all this stuff All right, I'm gonna shut her down now. So everyone. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time